nice to see you, even though I can't. <laughs> uh, but if, if this is happening, then someone's watching. Um, okay, so we built the tower. Let's put the tower in its spot and clearly um, make it smaller, quite a bit smaller. <coughs> Excuse me, but let's do it from the camera and let's get up top bird's eye view and put it behind that and scale it significantly. GZ S GZ not X GZ right where is that position I mean it doesn't listen it doesn't listen on exact science okay it is fairly central yeah alright now we've just got to do this thing that shouldn't be too difficult we'll deal with the scale afterwards right shift A mesh cube scale it up if I remember it wasn't actually that far off the correct scale here um, I think we'll do this in two bits probably wise so do a bit of that um, let's put a loop cut at the top um, and then let's extrude outwards, let's just check individual origins yes that's worked out alright isn't it eh? and not convinced that was the right way to do it no it was and then put a loop cut in the middle here and then we are just going to pull this up on the Z and of course we're going to have to deal with what's going on at the bottom there, maybe like that. Grab that one. Got to pull that up a bit and all to flatten that out. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. And next, we will need a bunch of loop cuts. I don't know how many, so just do that many. And we're going to need something at the top. And I'll put another one about there, I suppose. And then let's just see if this is separate. I mean, if it works. No, of course not. Not the right amount of faces. It's fine. Okay, so we just select them, insert them slightly, extrude them, get rid of the faces. And that looks like pretty much all I did for that one. And so now we're going to add another cube. I'm going to scale it up, of course. Of course. Drop that over here, scale it down, and then we want to make it a long cube, GZ, about that big. And we're going to want a loop cut here. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Sc scrap that. Don't put that there. Let's just. Uh, lower this face one GZ and we're going to extrude and scale out slightly then extrude upwards and then extrude upwards a bit more scale that in get that out scale it out extrude outwards extrude upwards and That'll do, and we'll just whack. Shift right click to put me thing there. Uh, we're going to put a sphere in there. Did I put I put an ICO sphere? I don't want that. I want a UV sphere. All right, let's scale that up. Let's have a look from the top. Where is that frame selected? So we want that in the middle. Bad right air. Bring it up. Bad right air. And then in X right, we're just going to select all the vertices that are not visible. Bush. Okay. And what else did I do? So what I've done there is I've put a loop cut here. 
and I've put another loop, start messing about, another loop cut at the bottom, and stop that, put one in the middle, and then control V to bevel. <coughs> That'll do. And then put three in the middle, one, two, three. And then the bug standard uh, shape curving trick. GG. Not those. GG. And let's insert them, but don't delete them. And we need to apply all the transforms actually, uh, because we want the bevel to work. It's not going to, is it? Are you going to work? Come on. Yeah. Okay. And we also did a couple of holes. Six minutes. Cool. We'll finish this. So we want put a loop cut in the middle at the top, bevel that, and one, two. Okay. X ray mode. Select these faces and E S Y axis. Control Z. I need to be on median point. E S Y. Uh, X, we'll get rid of them. Faces, Juan. Now, if we go into side view with three, we will do the same thing here. Put loop cut, bevel it, lag this, and then in X ray mode, we want to select these two and uh, ESX this time and delete those faces. Alright, cool. And. Did, did, did. Is there a, did I put a bevel on that? I didn't. Did I apply transforms on that? Most to the point, Nick. Bevel. Yeah, nice. Okay. So, let's. Have I put them together? Seven. Probably like that. Nope. Let's move that on the X a little bit. Uh, yeah, that works. That's nice. Okay, so let's put them in their place. Again, they're going to need scaling considerably. Considerably. Oh, right, let's just put the 3D cursor here so we can scale from that. <coughs> And then that, I believe, was probably behind that thing, or about the same spot. Yep, okay. And then we've got both these selected, so we can just tab into um, edit mode for both of them. And all we need to do is select all these lower vertices. And come out of that E Z all the way to there and then we need to apply the transforms again and while we've got them both let's do them one at a time A U cube projection and the same with that A U cube projection E minutes and let's select both of them select the wall and let's link the materials uh, we'll deal with the roof in a minute and now we're going to see how messed up the UVs are. 9 minutes 14. I did press it too. Yeah. Okay, so yep. We can quickly edit them and then finish this one off. So let's select. It's not far off, but. UV editor, we need to be in the UV editor. Okay, I need to scale them down a little. And also turn off my overlay. Yep. And let's do the same with that. But yeah, scale them down a bit. Who knows why it's doing that? Oh, not that far. Scale them down a little bit. Cool. And while we're here, let's just. Oh, we didn't do the other guy. Never mind. Oh, you know what? It's 10 minutes anyway. When we come back, we'll 
we'll put a roof texture on there, separate that with a vertex group, and we'll do the same thing for here. And then we've got to build these bits at the front, which will not take long. And then I think we're looking at rendering this bad boy out. I think, yeah. We're, we're pretty much pretty much done with the modeling stuff other than this. Wicked. Epic. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.